Fort Lorraine Museum celebrates the early days of Manitoba from the fur trade, the earliest entrepreneurs, settlement patterns, and some of the early homes that got built here. Everything has been lovingly restored and it is such a great place to visit. I can't wait to show you around, so let's get started. Welcome to Fort Lorraine Museum in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. This is the Burton House. The house was gifted to a young couple from their in-laws on their wedding day and has been in the family ever since until it was donated to the museum in the 90s. The home has been restored and all the artifacts are from the 1930s, the time during which the Burton family would have raised their young family. Let's go explore. These rooms are sealed off and the public can't enter, but you're free to have a look inside. Here's the nursery, a couple of examples of cribs. Remember when we used to collect these pennons and hang them on our walls from our travels? Now we make YouTube videos. Here is the home of a young entrepreneurial person sewing Mixing, mending. Didn't have Amazon back in the 30s. One of the nice things about this museum is you've done a really good job of listing the names of the people who have donated items. That's the absolute coolest. This is the Case House, and it's an example of a catalog house. Back in the day, you could order your house through a catalog. It would be shipped to you by rail. You would unload it, ship it to your property, and then build your house. This is an example of a four-square house. Each room on the main floor is exactly square and the same size. Let's go explore. This dining room is set up for a party. All the good china. Everything in its place, even a nook for books. This is the Trapper's Cabin. It's an excellent example of log construction. These are getting rarer and rarer and harder to find on the prairies. Homemade bed frame and a buffalo coat. Every log had to fit together and the space is filled exactly. Or the heat would leak out and the cold would leak in. The Aury House is an upper-class Victorian home built in the 1890s. It is an example of how the upper crust lived on the prairies at the turn of the century. This was an early ringer washer. Definitely an improvement over a scrub board and a tub. Imagine being able to put your clothes through the ringer, get all the water out of them without having to hand wring them. This is an original mangle, a Victor mangle. Put it through the mangle to get your sheets nice and flat, your shirts and skirts crisp. These are for drying wool socks. I remember my mother using these for my dad's socks. Important so they don't shrink. I'm not sure, but I think this was either designed to make butter or ice cream. Let me know in the comments if you know the answer. The Paul House is an original log house in excellent condition. You can see how well cared for it was by the chinking between the logs and the excellent framing of the windows. The Paul House was one of the first acquisitions given to the museum. The tin roof would have helped protect the family from fire, from the ever-present glowing stove located in the middle of the home. Sometimes we think of these homes as being really rustic, 
but evidence shows that they had a lot of luxuries. Have a look at this clever system for laundry. The pole goes up, the pole goes down, and the laundry dries. And people who travel and RV and van life know why everything came in tins. To keep it safe from pesky varmints like mice. This gives you an example of just how truly close to the number one highway this museum is. Just take the exit for Highway 1A, it'll take, it'll take you right here. All aboard! It's Sunday morning and the universe always provides. Here I am at this beautiful little church. An opportunity to step in, offer some gratitude for the blessings I've received and this wonderful YouTube community. Let's check it out. The silvery additions to the roof are called banyas, and it's awesome to see them glistening in the sun, a part of Canada's multicultural mosaic. This is the inside of the banya, or the main dome on the church. Beautiful for letting light in. The chandelier is also very traditional in ornate Ukrainian churches. Looks like this one has license plates, so you might see it in a parade or two. That was a GMC. This is a Chevrolet. The leather seats and the open air experience. Rain or shine, frontline heroes. There's a vintage ladder tucked in front of this rig. There are quite a few vintage artifacts here. And I remember when there was one of these on almost every corner or every couple of corners in urban Saskatchewan. I imagine it was much the same in Manitoba. This is an example of an early pumper, literally pumper, pumped by human hands and hauled either by humans or hitch to a wagon. From the moment you come into the visitor's center, you'll understand that this place is really different. The care, concern, attention to detail, it's all here. Even the bathrooms are cute. I'm inviting you on another adventure in the area. Just click the link and I'll see you there.